Okay, so this is to address the issue of how to determine the uh, regression line, the least square regression line, uh, for a set of data. So um, here I have a problem from our homework, uh, age versus the number of mutant genes um, and people, so of uh, 15 men. So I'm going to work this problem over here in Excel, and I'll show you how to use both Megastat and regular Excel. So first I'm going to do regular Excel to show you how to do it and how essentially you're going to do it on the test. So here we go and then after that I'm going to use Megastat in a quick way and show you how to do Megastat. Um, so alright here we go. So first of all to calculate this I need I need equation. We're going to use the equations for the slope. I'm going to use the equation the slope um, equals um, R times um, R times the standard deviation of the Y, so SY divided by SX, okay? Uh, for the Y intercept, uh, then I'm going to use, right, which we call B, I'm going to use uh, the equation we talked about in class about the Y bar, Y bar, so the mean of the Y's, so minus the slope times the mean of the y's, the, the mean of the x's, so x bar. So first we need these things. So first we need to find essentially the, uh, the sy, so the standard deviation of the y's, the standard deviation of the x, the r, the correlation coefficient, the y bar, right, the, the mean of the y's and the mean of the x's in order to calculate these. So let's do that. So let's find the means and let's find the standard deviations. So standard deviations. So and I'm going to do it right here. So equals average for the means for Excel and then I select my data and come up. Down here I'm going to do the standard deviation equals standard Deviation, this is a sample of 15 min, so I'm going to use the sample one. And I'm going to select my data. Notice I'm not selecting the mean as well. So, and there's my standard deviation of the age. Right? So those are my X, my X mean and my X standard deviation. So now I want to copy and paste this. We can do it in a few ways. I can simply pull that over and there's my mean of my Y's and my standard deviation of my Y's. So I got four things out of this. Um, these equations that I have. Now all I need is my correlation coefficient, my r, my r, which is just one number for all of it. So to do that, I do equals to corel, corel returns the correlation coefficient. So I select that. I select my x's, making sure not to select my mean and stuff like that. And then comma, and then I select my y's. Hit enter, and there's my correlation coefficient. So I take it out a few decimals here. It doesn't matter, right? We can use that in our calculator, or I can use Excel to calculate the next part. If I want my M, right, which I'll type into here, I'm just going to use Excel to do it so you can see it. it. Equals R, so I want R, so here's R, times, which that's the time symbol in Excel times my standard deviation of my y's divided by my standard deviation of my x's. All right, and that should give me my slope. If I want my um, if I my, my y-intercept, what I call b, then we will use the mean, right, my y-bar, which is this one. So we have equals to y-bar minus the, the slope, so my slope is right here, times my means, and I hit enter. And there's basically my equation of my line, so, right, so what we have there is that y would equal, the actual equation, y would equal 7.23166, maybe I need to round it some places, um, so that's my slope times x uh, plus or minus actually because it's a negative minus 268.3435 sorry there we go 
And that's the equation of the line that we need to input into as, as our formula. So whether it be the Excel project that you're working on or whether it be your homework. All right, and this is basically how you would do it on the test too, except I'm gonna give you all this information on the test. I'll give you all the means, the standard deviations, and the R's, and you would calculate then the slope and the y-intercept. All right, so that aside, let's do it with Megastat in two seconds. So just to see how to do it. Um, there are some limitations with Megastat because it only gives you a certain rounding. Um, so if you're looking for it on the on the homework on the on the on the for Connect Math, you might need a little more rounding than than it gives you. So let's go ahead and do it. So Megastat, I'm doing correlation. We're doing a I can do a scatter plot here. And so I'm going to select my data. Oops, I've already selected it. So let me just delete and start if it was new. So I'm going to select my horizontal axis, my x-axis data, making the select only my data. And now I'm going to select my vertical axis or my y data. And then we type in a title, whatever we need. So there's my title. And uh, plot linear regression line. That needs to be on there. That way we can see the line and we get the equation. All right, so click OK. And in two seconds, bloom, there's the equation right now to you in slope intercept form. Just basically exactly what we had. But it's rounded to three decimals. If I needed four decimals for your homework, right, then you might need to use the other method. It also gives us R squared, right, the coefficient of determination. Um, but realize that sometimes the R could be negative if we want, if we need it to be, because R squared is always positive. All right, that's it. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, talk to you later.